don't got time for no thought as this, yeah, I just want you shotgun. Hi guys, it's Arpia and the only plans you have to have for this tutorial is the universe and the magical look plugins. I'll leave the timestamps in the description if you want to go to any specific part of the video. But basically, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is to sync up the clip with the music. Hopefully you guys know how to do that because I've already done that and I will just do a real quick time map. Basically just press on your clip, press Ctrl R. So you can read controls, then you go to shot of impact, so the first frame you see the numbers appear and from here you're gonna go 3 frames to the right, so 1, 2, 3, so the numbers are fully built, press on the R as speed point, then you go 15 frames to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, press on the R and add a new speed point, then you go 15 frames more to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right here press on the R and add speed point. Now basically just go over to your music and find the beat you want to kill to happen on. If you already did, haven't done that, just press M on your keyboard to put down the marker. It should become much easier and make this first part to 50% and this second part to 200% and now basically we're gonna drag this middle piece speed point until we see that the last speed point is in a straight line with the marker we just put it down so on the beat you want the kill to happen on so it should look something like this and now basically just quickly add this speed point anyway to right and change the speed to 50% just to add some and yeah it should look like this pretty cool in my opinion now basically we can close out of the weekend controls and we can start doing the effect so what you want to do now is go to FX and just drag an adjustment clip and make sure that you don't make it short or anything that's very important. Basically drag the whole clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact. You can make this turn on smart tools to make it easier, so something like this. As I said, don't make it short, it's very important. Then basically just hover over it, go to the fusion tab. And then basically go down in the description, and in the description you should find the cool draft folder. Inside of it, download the preset called Dent RGB Cool Effect RP tutorial. Because you just drag and drop it like this. But it's a little special way you want to connect it to. You'll see that this rectangle is on top. Basically, you want to drag the rectangle and connect it to medium one like this. And basically, the other stuff just connect it as usual like this. But it's very important that you connect the rectangle to the medium one. That will basically just create sort of black boss as you see guys. Now it's pretty laggy, but as you see guys. Go, you can go back to edit tab, right click on the clip, press render cache, go to playback, change render cache to smart. That will basically make it to lags list. Basically when this line is fully blue, it will not lag at all. And now you can basically make it shorter if you want. But basically now quickly we're gonna just add the color correction. Basically how we're gonna do the color correction is go down to single drive folder. Basically download the magic boot look preset. Basically now it should go so to port it. Go to your window search down here and search up percentage load call app. Da, da. percentage make sure that you only press on this folder this should pop up then basically find the looks builder go to looks then basically open custom and from your downloads basically just uh, drag and drop the preset and then you basically then close out and you don't even need to restart the window so and basically what we're going to do now to apply the look is go to your shot of impact so basically where this effect ends and basically from here we're gonna go 50 frames to the left 50 right here so basically just press m on the keyboard i already done that so it becomes a marker now basically go to f again and drag an adjustment clip and make it a starch on that marker in this case you can make it shorter so make that starch on the marker we just put it down and ends on the shot of impact basically what you're going to do now is you're going to go to open fix and so shop looks and drag it and drop it inside of here basically press and go to effects in the inspector edit look and then basically in your custom you should find a new look called RP can or best look something like that but I have it in my tutorial effect so you can find it better so here it is, press on it, go, press on the check mark and if the if it doesn't get applied as it doesn't in my case then basically make sure that you don't have any keyframes on here as you see I had one so I just took it away and it appeared if it doesn't appear then just drag it to the strength to zero and then to 100 again it's just a bug. 
basically now you can run for it and like run the cash again just to take it away the lag and as you see guys this looks absolutely amazing in my opinion now we need to just make a little fade in how we're gonna do that is just have your castle over the adjustment clip and then it basically you will see two rectangle things in the corner basically take one to left and just drag it how much you think so something like this i think uh, one fourth and you could you can play around with it always yeah. that's a bit too little i would write a bit more i think but basically you can also play around with that later but now basically the only thing left to do is the sound effect how we're gonna do the sound effect is take this up so you can see your sound then go to the same good drive for just all the other times and don't let the build up just drag and drop this out of here you can make it shorter from the beginning if you want and basically this step is very important that you do exactly like me because we need to crop it a little bit basically if you you make this audio track bigger but just drag it like this you'll see that this like audio waves that you see that it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger here it drops basically on this drop you want it to end so you basically just drag it and make it so it ends on the first drop so something like this it will sound really good then basically the mark will put down in the beginning beginning so on, on the short film back basically drag the whole sound effect and make it so it ends right there and yeah i see guys that looks really cool you can make it louder or not as loud you decide but i feel like this is the best but other than that if you enjoyed this video please consider it drop a like drop us some comment tutorial ideas and see you guys in the next video bye